My name is Jesse Mwai, and uh, what a delight and a pleasure it is for me to spend a few minutes of your time, you know, as we share and have this conversation that would definitely be of beneficial or benefit to you. I want to share with you on uh, just three things that are not your problem. One of the things and one of the difficulties we subject ourselves to in life is that sometimes we pick up problems, issues that really are not supposed to be our problems. And we, they make us anxious, they make us angry, we overburden ourselves with things that we really cannot do anything about. The first such problems that sometimes we pick, you know, and we make it our problem is other people's opinion about us. Everybody is entitled to an opinion. They are entitled to an opinion, including an opinion about you and about me. You cannot stop people from having an opinion. When the opinion is a good one, if people some, sometimes think well of you, thank God for that. But there is no shortage of people who will have a negative opinion about you, who will not like you, who will say all manner of negative things about you. But I've also discovered this, that often the people who don't like you, the people who think badly about you, do not even know you. They have never taken time to want to know you. They have never taken time to want to discover who you are. Sometimes they form their opinion out of other people's opinions or what they have heard about you. And I've discovered this as difficult and as painful it is when you, when you know that there are some people who don't like you. The truth of the matter is this, that it is not your problem. What they think about you is really not your problem. Don't take it upon yourself. Don't go around trying to find out what they're saying about you. Don't go around trying to find out what so and so said and it's not your problem. If somebody really wanted to know you, they would take time, they will come to you and they will spend time with you so that they can form their own opinion about you. So it is not your problem. Stop worrying about it. Shut your ears to what people are saying. Concentrate and focus your energies on things that are good, you know, whatever God has called you to do, focus your energies on that. The second thing that is not your problem is other people's burdens. Everybody is carrying a burden or the other. Everybody is carrying a weight or the other. Everybody has problems. Please don't make other people's burdens your problem. I know that there are some of us who are very sensitive and very loving and sometimes we want to carry the whole world with us. We want to sort out other people's problems, other people's burdens, carry other people's burdens. Let me tell you, you, one person, you are just one person. You already have your own problems. You already have your own burdens. You cannot pick up other people's burdens and make them your own. You will wear yourself out. Yes, as Christians and God's people, we need to share our burdens with one another. Yes, we help one another, but we can only help one another only to the extent that God will help us to carry one another's burdens. But remember, even when I come and share with your burden, it is really ultimately not my burden. It is still yours to carry. It is for you to sort it out. So don't make other people's burdens your problems. But then finally, the other thing that you should not take upon yourself as your problem is other people's choices. Everybody will make their own choices in life. Some good choices, some bad choices. Now, when somebody makes their own choice, it is not your problem. It is their problem. That is their choice. They are entitled to it. I may not agree with your choices. I'm, somebody may even be a sibling, a loved one. They may have made their own choices it, and whereas I may not even agree with those choices, it is really not my problem. It is really not my problem. Yes, I can advise. Yes, I can pray for you. Yes, I can, I can be there for that person, especially when they mess up. But the problem is not mine. The problem is actually theirs. If those choices bring them to a place where they have a lot of problems, they're overburdened, yes, we will pray with you. We'll be there for you. But I will not make it my problem. I will not make your choices my problem because I too, have my own choices to make. Now, I, I know I know that sometimes when we say these things, it may, it, may, it may not sound very loving, but the idea is this. We share with one another's burdens. We are there for one. We pray for one another. We encourage one another. Sometimes, yes, we try to help one another along the journey of life, but we must do so strategically, knowing our limitations and knowing the things that we should carry on ourselves, we should pick up for ourselves, 
but not weigh ourselves with things that we can do little or nothing about. May the Lord help you. Maybe you're there and you're carrying burdens that really do not belong to you. Yes, you love your family. Yes, you love your friends. But, but you realize that you're weary, you're tired, you're even depressed sometimes. Maybe you need to, to do an interrogation and, find your, and ask yourself, am I picking up other people's problems? Maybe am I overburdening myself with other people's issues? You know, and make that decision and decide that today, no, I'm going to unburden myself and let me help other people only to the extent that I can be able to help them. So may the Lord bless you and may the Lord keep you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. And thank you so much. Please share this message with your friends and others who may benefit. God bless you.